Hey, what's up guys? It's Seth from Workbench and today we're going to do text reveals with effectors. So this week we're going to take a look at how to create this effect. Let's jump into it. So I'm going to show you how to create the base part of the effect and then we're going to get in depth a little further. So I'm going to create a box, set it to 10 by 10 by 10. Uh, sorry for the sniffles, I'm kind of sick. Then I created a poly effects. I'm going to put the poly effects in the cube. And then I created a plane effector set to remap. I have it set to object and I have it set to zero. And then of course you have to add it to the effector list. And then I'm using linear fall off. So if you pull that, you can see we're just doing like a line by line draw on. But unfortunately, you can see that it's just like a hollow object, which I don't like. But this is the base of this effect. So the second part is I created a mo text object, set the depth to zero, did a poly effects again. I'm using a shader effector, but you could easily use a plane effector here. I have it set to remap, node, and it's got scales set to zero. And then I'm using the fall off at linear. If you watch it, it just kind of draws on each piece. To add a little variation, I added a random effector in front of that. So the poly effects effectors I have a random up here so that's just giving some variation to the draw on you can see then I added a cloth surface to that and again the reason I'm adding the cloth surface here like this is so that the object isn't hollow because if you just use the motex object and add depth to it what happens is you end up with like hollows like this which is a really cool I like it better that way it's always filled all right so that's part two then I took this and I created this part three, which is just like the animation of the edge coming in. So I'm using a shader effector here as well. You could probably use a plane effector if you wanted to. The setup is exactly the same except for my fall off here is set to box because I wanted it to reveal one edge and get rid of the other edge. And then here's where I change things up a little bit. So this first displacer is set to fall off set the box you see i'm just kind of displacing this front edge a little bit and i got a second displacer also on the edge just deforming it a little more and then i added a jiggle deformer now both of these are set to fall off box so you can see i have a constraint tag on here i have the constraint tag set to psr and i'm pointing them to the shader effector so i'm only having to animate one set of keys so let me play that back so you can kind of see this is what it's doing you can see like it's giving you like almost like a fill in text so the last part of the effect i created a regular cinema 4d text object in this case i want to generate splines and i can't do that with a motex object then i'm using cv outline which is a cineversity plugin essentially what that does is the same thing as if i i took this object made it editable then i went to mesh under spline and i did create outline you can do the same thing the difference however is that this one keeps your text object parametric and i'll show you why that's important later so i created these outlines then i made the outlines wider because i stuck all of that inside of a sweep and i stuck a rectangle in there to create this and then just like before i'm using a poly effects object to do the reveal and then just like the last effect i'm using a displacer on the front edge animated with the shader effector so that i can distort the front edge a bit and i'm also using a jiggle deformer as well and that's it. So then I put all that stuff together. So you can kind of see the revealing the two exterior ones. And then behind that, I'm revealing this text. So earlier, I said that it was important to keep this parametric. The reason that is because I created a espresso that essentially lets me change one of the Motex objects and it'll change the entire effect. So I can go in here. Go to Motex 1, and I can change the text. Take a second to update. Anytime now, and there you go. So now the entire effect is changed by just changing one piece of text. Let me show you what that espresso is. It's really, really simple. So if you see, I have Motex 1, and I'm feeding the text. I'll create a new one. You go to Text, go to Tags, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and go to Espresso. And then in here, I'm going to drag in my text in my text, and I'm just pumping out object properties text and object properties font into the same parameters as the text object object font text object properties text that's it 
So you only have to type in the one and it changes the entire effect. So that's about it for this week. If you have any comments or questions, leave in the comments down below. If you'd like to help support what we do, go to patreon.com forward slash workbench and check out the blog at workbench.tv. I'm Sev. We'll see you next week.